Well, we have just learned that Shashti Stane Yoga, Shashti Stane Yoga, when uh, a term in a sutra occurs in Shashti without any explicit uh, meaning, <clears throat> we understand that it is combined with Stane. So in the case of Ikostane, Ikahastane, for instance, it means in place of ik, in place of ik. Now, as is often the case, this wonderful, very powerful, and very frequently used uh, mechanism is sort of the tip of an iceberg, um, which can uh, get quite subtle, and we will come to that shortly. In fact, I think I'm going to have a discussion about this, which will suggest to you that if you've been paying some attention, you can already begin to feel that you know the grammar uh, in a meaningful way. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. So the question comes, Ikoguna uh, vritti, uh, Ikoguna vritti. So when uh, a guna and vritti are enjoying using the words guna and vritti, we understand that that implies ikahastane, impli in place of ik. And we've sort of uh, taken it that that's, that's as far as it needs to go. So if it's ikahastane, but ik is iurluk, iurluk. So it's not really narrowing it down as much as we'd like. <laughs> now, as we go into this a little bit more, we need to review two terms or present two terms. Adesha, Adesha, that is something that is substituting for something else. So in Ikoguna Vritti, Ikaha Stane, the Guna is the say the guna guna would be adesha and ikaha is the thing being substituted for or otherwise you could say replaced and the one that's being replaced or substituted for is called the stanin stanin so adesha is the one replacing um in this case it would be say guna if we're thinking about pu po transition, transformation, uh, the guna would be replacing ik. And obviously that's the i of ik. Um, so that would be the uh, stanin. Now, question is, uh, what exactly is the replacement? Because also uh, um, guna is adengunaha. At eng a ong a a a o adeng gunaha eng a ong. So th those are also three. Um, guna is not just one thing. Uh, so that's not really a complete answer. So we know this thing is going to happen, but how exactly does it happen? So first step, stanentra tamaha, stanentra tamaha. Stanentratamaha, another big uh, uh, sort of Paribhasha Sutra, I guess. Um, so Stane Antratamaha, most antra, the, cl the most close, the nearest. So the um, Adesha should be Stanentratamaha, the most, the option which is closest to the one being substituted for stanentra tamaha so for uh some pretty simple examples of that we'll look at a sutra that involves <clears throat> uh the um uh substitution uh of a vowel by a single dirga vowel, essentially. 61101 akasavarni dirgaha. 
Akasavarne dirgaha. Akaha stane savarne dirgaha syat. So, achipare. So, um, when ak is followed by a, not just vowel, but a savarna vowel, the preceding and following single dirga comes. The single dirga comes. So we've got a number of things operating here that you already know about. So that's why this is fun it's, uh, to remember. Uh, so uh, one thing we want to know is ak, yun look. So please make sure you attend to the Akshara Samamnaya videos. I didn't do four videos to teach you the alphabet. Um, there's a lot going on there, um, and a lot of concepts are involved. So, Aiyunruluk, Ak. When an Ak is followed by an Ach, Aiyunruluk, Aeong Ayauch. Um, now, but not just any old Ach, a Savarna Ach. And we also know what that means. Tulyasya prayatnam savarnam. Tulyasya prayatnam savarnam. So we uh, want uh, this, this rule applies only to an ach, ak, which is being followed by a savarna ach, a savarna ach. Tulyasya prayatnam savarnam. And as you know, we also spent considerable time. Uh, discussing what exactly tulyasya prayatnam means. So there's place and effort of articulation. Place and effort of articulation. And uh, I, I'm going to come back to that, I think, in, in the next sort of wrap-up video. But uh, let's look at some examples. So rama plus atra. Rama plus atra. So um, it doesn't take too much imagination. So first of all, um, a i un ruluk, ak. So a is ak. Remembering, and this is one of the things we talked about in the um, Akshara Samamnaya, um, the vowels stand for all uh, forms of the vowels, especially lengths, but all forms of the vowels, unless followed by t. And this does not say um, uh, anything about that. So, um, a is, uh, we don't even have to go into technicalities, but akuha uh, visarjaniyanam um, kantaha. Might as well start with that akuha visarjaniyanam kantaha. If you remember the place of articulation of a, ku, and ha are, is the uh, uh, kantaha. So uh, rama is followed by atra, and uh, a and a uh, are fortunately savarnas, and uh, and therefore, and and so atra a uh, of atra is a savarna ach, savarna to a. Uh. So in place of both the a uh of rama and the a uh of atra, a single dirga comes, ramatra. Similarly, hari ish, uh, ishwaraha, ishwara, hari ishwara. So here, e of hari is followed by dirga e of ishwara. And so we won't go into a ton of detail. Uh, um, so we have an ak followed by a savarna vowel, which is dirga i, and we don't have to get technical to uh, accept that that's a savarna of itself, essentially. So they are both replaced by a dirga i, harishvara. Similarly, indu udaya, indu udaya, u and u are savarna, um, so Iunruluk ak is followed by savarna u, and uh, both are replaced by a single dirga u in Hindu dayaha. So, same deal. Pitrna, Pitrna, 
Peter Rur and Rur are Savarnas, so both are replaced by a single Dirga Rur. Now, here comes where we have to have been paying attention in the Akshara Samamne discussion. So if you have Hotar and Lurkara, wait a second, Rur and Lur, let's see, Urtura Shanam Murta Lurtula Sanam Dantaha. Not the same place of articulation between Ur and Lur. Hmm, that's a problem. That's problem number one. Except for, as we know, we had a Vartaka, Rulavarnayor Mita Savarnyam Vacham. Rulavarnayor Mita Savarnyam Vacham. Boom, it already comes into play. Ur and Lur, even though they are not technically Savarnam because their places are different, are to be understood as Savarnas. So, okay, that sounds good. So we can say Hotur, uh-oh, what is this then? What, what, what is the single dirga? Um, uh, well, um, that's a little bit of a sticky wicket because they're not the same letters. But here's the other thing we know from our Akshara Samamnaya. There is no dirga lur. There's only hrasva and Pluta Lur. So the only possibility is a Dirga Rur. Dirga Rur. So here we have Hotur Kara. So we've bought into play a bunch of sutras that you already are familiar with, or at least have heard of, in, in uh, e expressing uh, this Stanintra Tamaha. Now we'll go into uh, cases where there's a little bit more confusion.